I'm Jeff, and this is how to add a counter in Microsoft Excel. If you have a lot of records here and you want to keep track at all times so you know how much there is in there, uh, it's pretty simple to simply go into one row, one column, right here in this empty column here, and put in a quick function. Now, built, one of the built-in functions for Excel is called row. It tells you what number row you're on. If I hit equals, I always start a function with equals, and then row, and then empty parentheses, just don't need to put anything in them, but uh, you have to have them so it knows it's a function. Hit enter, and you can see that it has a two there, because this is in fact row two. If I wanted to just copy that and paste it in, we'd be all set, everything would be numbered. However, notice that this is actually the first entry, even though it's row two. That's okay, I can go in here and change that function so it's row minus one. Now it's the correct row number. If I copy that, and now hold down shift and press the, the down arrow as much as you want. You can even press shift control down arrow to do all of them. And now control V to paste. And every single one of these cells now has the correct number in them. This will count up all your data. You'll always know how many there are and which ones are in which number. And better yet, when you resort the data alphabetically or in any other way, the, no, the numbers won't change. They will stay as counters. I'm Jeff, and this was how to add a counter to Microsoft Excel.